Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Now, steps to assemble Scorpio Gripper using MG995 or MG90 servo motors. The gripper is made of ABS material and available as a kit. The kit contains a base frame, two grippers, links, and screws required for assembly. Initially, we control the gripper jaws using MG995 servo motor. Start assembly with fixing the two jaws to base frame using two suitable screws as shown. Then, join one link to inner extension of a jaw using a screw. Then, join other link with a spacer in between to inner extension of another jaw using another screw. So that the free ends of both the links are positioned one on another. Now, place a bigger link on servo motor shaft, then fasten with a screw as shown. Then, place the servo, MG995, below the base frame. Then, fasten the servo to base frame, using screws with the dual hole washer, in between, as shown. Then, join the free ends, of all the three links together, as shown. Then, connect the three link ends, using a long, thin, screw. Just loosen, the screw on the servo shaft, before testing. Now, you may observe that, the link on the servo oscillates, by opening, and closing of jaws. Then, connect three pin connector to five volts DC source. Ground. And signal input from Arduino board or any other microcontroller. You may program the servo for any angular movement. Here, the servo angular movement is programmed for 45 to 135 degrees using Arduino Uno. Adjust the jaw position as required. The onboard LED indicates the jaw opening and closing condition. Now, tighten the screw on the servo shaft. Now, the Scorpio gripper, using MG995, is ready to use in your robotics project. Now, we will use MG90 servo motor, for control. To use MG90 or any other small servo motor instead of MG995 as control. Open the four screws and screw on the servo shaft. When replaced with smaller servo, there is gap all around the servo. Remove the turning link also. Now, plan to position the smaller servo motor. A suitable, rectangular, thin plate is selected. Now, make the necessary holes, for fixing the plate to the base frame. Also make holes, to hold the small servo, in the center of the plate. Check the holes for matching, with respect to the base frame holes. Similarly, check the holes and slot on the plate to accommodate the small servo properly. Now, fix the small servo on the plate using small screws and nuts. Then, position the horn on the servo shaft. And, quick test its angular movement using the previous connection. Then, adjust its position, as per the requirement. Then, lock the horn, using a small screw, on the servo shaft.
Now place the plate as shown. Then fasten the plate to the base frame using four screws along with the spaces if required. Then connect the free end of the horn to the two free ends of the links using a thin long screw. Make necessary adjustments if required. You may use either MG90S or SG90S small servo. Then test the assembly as earlier. After trial run to adjust the gap between the jaws. Change the position of the horn on the servo shaft. Then test again. Now the Scorpio gripper is ready and more lighter due to small servo. Please press like button if you like this video. Subscribe Simple Mechatronics for access to more projects and share with your friends about Simple Mechatronics. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and circuits are available at Simple Mechatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next video.